Hey, y'all, come on in. We're glad to see you. We have our second soap today from Topher Soap Company. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! Hey, y'all, come on in. It's good to see you. We're Thanks glad you're coming. here. Your chair's always open. If you're here during the live premiere, join the chat and say hi. we got a cool group of folks from all over the world over. who are meeting yeah. up with us twice a week, and we so couldn't fun. be happier. So what's our soap today? Our soap today is the second from the box that Carla sent us, Shavon Jens. And this, yeah, we already opened Wood Smoke here, and we've had so much fun. It's time to open the second one. But I did also go diving back onto their website because I had to check it all out. And I got to say, I couldn't stop myself. I bought a lot of things. Big box <laughs> came. Y'all, they needed two postal workers. To get yes, it. because uh, uh, Easter was coming. So I had to get their Easter peeps little bath melts going right. on and then some other things. And then we also noticed that they had more wax melts in stock. So she Carlos had given us some, it. but yeah. we got to get a matching one. If y'all don't know Carlos, shave on gents on Instagram. He's one of the nicest people mm -hmm. in the entire Higher shaving world, and one of the first people to help ingratiate us yes. in. And he sent us a big box from Topers just because he loves the artisan and he wanted to get their name yes, out there a little bit so and fun. also expand our palette a little mm -hmm. bit into some different places. And I could not have been more thrilled with Whiskey Woods. Right, and they're in great Canada base. too, what so great close scent. to Carlos. And, and being a small artisan, we are so happy to be able to shine a little bit of light on what they're doing and how mm -hmm. excellent that work really is. And get our noses on a second tub here. Uh -huh. I'm excited. And let's meet the soap! So y'all from the sales page at tofers.ca Discover the ultimate shaving experience with Tofers Tobacco and Leather Shave Soap. Crafted from the finest oils and butters, this four ounce soap boasts a thick, long lasting lather and exceptional razor glide. Say goodbye to the harsh chemicals and hello to a natural, chemical free formula scented with bold notes. No, I don't think I'm giving away too much here. Of tobacco and leather, tonka bean, <gasps> oh. and oud wood. Okay. Oh, I love it. Our expertly crafted recipe combines large shea butter and coconut oil in its base with added castor oil, vegetable glycerin, and hemp seed oil for superior skin conditioning. Okay. Don't settle for just any round bar of soap with added clay. Elevate your wet shave routine with our specially refined artisanal shave soap. Okay. Experience the difference for yourself and make your next shave the best it can be. Well, okay. Best if paired with Topher's Manscaped Butter as an F-shape. Yes, which we And y'all, we, we just to... happen to have our Manscaped Butter right here. This <laughs> is Carlos. awesome stuff. This is my favorite mm -hmm. aftershave. That's right. And I then, said this is my favorite aftershave. I may or may not have caved and gotten the women's beaver butter. So after my it. alcohol splash goes on, y'all, this finishes my job. And it's mm -hmm. amazing. And they make a female Such version. A the great scent bomb. is just slightly yeah. different. Mm -hmm. It's very subtle and lovely. Y'all, yeah. this is any little the nicks or razor stuff. burns, these have been our go-tos. Yep. Carlos even said of that box I'm sending you, this is going to be the all-star. you got to try this on. Oh, you really don't need as much. Stuff. It's just barely enough. And it fixes all the things. <laughs> so let's take a look at this box of Carlos. Let's unbox it. There's one thing left, so time to go digging for this our last poor thing. lonely soul left in the box. Oh, Ooh, there it is. Leather tobacco premium shave puck, oh, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm so excited because in this artisan world, there are no rules. There are no boundaries. Right. There are no things that you absolutely have to do. So every time we discover a new artisan, right? they always take things in slightly different directions, whether it's the base or the scent. Mm -hmm. or there's always something fun and new and to explore. There are personal touches in there, whether it's the scent or right. even the label we love so it's it's super fun to add more artisans yeah. into our and, and we love being enabled by the community because yes. there are still some artisans that we know nothing about That's so true. if you know and you'd like us to cover something we haven't yet yeah, let us put it know. in the comments Help this us is how we found stuff like this and oh i'm so excited yeah. all right let's Here's have a first thing. impression <laughs> So this is probably more along the lines of a guy sense, yeah, but I, I wonder so. if I might want you to smell it first, and then I can ask you oh, some questions. What's on the picture there? It kind of well, looks yeah, like a little wallet thing. Whiskey wood smoke. We've got our our little shavettes or our straight right. edge. 
chambers. And then what do we got on this Somebody one Somebody help here? us out. What, what is that little guy? Oh, it almost looks, looks like, like a, a little looks like a travel edge, pouch right? or a wallet, like something, something like a, maybe opened. Maybe a dop kit or something. Oh, maybe, know. yeah. If you're supposed to, I guess we're going to well, find out. Well, maybe there's an answer maybe in the smell. Maybe it's made of leather, you, like a uh, leather satchel. Why don't you take it in? I'm curious if this is like a leather jacket smell, if this is like a, right? a, a more like a saddle leather, which but we I also love, like or a cashmere. But I did like reading those other scent notes that it had oud even, the oud wood. And ooh, it could be anything, y'all. We yeah, it really out, depends so. on the mix. Like, yeah. ooh can do a lot of things. I am curious. I, I love that there are other notes oh, in this oh, beyond oh. just the le- It's darker than the mm. other one. It did list vanilla, oh, I think, let's right? Because uh, it does have a darker, a little darker uh, yeah, look going on. There's the whiskey wood smoke. Oh, it's a little darker. Okay. okay. Time to get my let's sniffer ready. Right. Let's take it in. What do you got? Oh, it, it's actually, it's, it's not as dark. I just assume it'd be a little darker. Yeah. Oh. It really actually smells like I'm in my cabin that we used to visit growing right. up in Tahoe. Like oh. the wood in the walls and like the leather cedar. furniture. Tahoe and stuff. cabins are made of cedar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. Yeah, and it, it has a little, a little secret spice in there. I don't want to say cinnamon. It's not, but it's it's something like that. Either a nutmeg or something that just like adds a little fun character. I don't know if it's a scent that would be used for tobacco. I have no idea. A secret sauce. But there's y'all. something in the middle that I my nose caught onto halfway through. I'm excited. A little, you, di- a little di- a difference, not right. expected. No, and it actually it takes me to a place where I would have thought it would have been too like much more on the masculine, like what you'd wear out, you know. Y'all, but I actually get a location more than anything. Maybe a Canadian little whiff going on. I don't I'm know. telling you, the newer or the smaller artisans often have absolute treasure, y'all. I just grabbing this out of the bathroom to film. I was smelling right. it, going, oh, "Wow, yes, this that's... really is such a delight!" Like, it, yeah, wow. And she was like, "Yeah, you really word. liked the base too, didn't you?" And I was like, yeah. I, "I know, I." Really Really well, cool. and so now getting the whiskey wood smoke of this, I feel like smelling because this takes me to a place. Yeah. I almost would want this in a wax melt too because I'm there. Awesome. Because this took me straight back to Christmas because I think we did this in December, right? So it's just like, oh, it was so good for my mm-hmm. soul. So I'm so excited. Okay. I, I really think one. you should just get your nose on this. I don't want to take it's too much sweeter more time than, talking. It's sweeter than you thought, huh? It, yes, it's much more welcoming right. than I thought. I thought I was it was thinking be that like this is going to be masculine. like super masculine, right? It wouldn't be overly sweet. It would be your more leather and tobacco, more your saddle leather, right. more your like tobacco leaf, where it's and not I, very sweet. I feel sweet, like when we right? talked to Carlos originally, he said something about this one, like that you would You're both right. enjoy it. This one was his pony, and now yeah. you understand why. Yeah, I can see why. And knowing, like, we've never met Carlos, but talking not to him so life. much in real life, like you, I do get that vibe of like a friendly hug, like it's a place you'd want to hang out Every with the guys. Every single ounce. Of our shave locker was delivered through the mail, y'all. Right? We uh, We've this never... is this is a digital world. It is. We have met everybody virtually, <laughs> even in our YouTube chats here. Everyone's from all over the world. It's they're fun. so nice. We're pretty sure they're all real. Uh, we think we're pretty sure, or right? it's really good AI. So I nice. gotta say. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, get your nose on there. I'm curious. <sighs> okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Because we've had other tobaccos and leathers, but this is its own thing. This is a slightly spicy barbershop, if ever there was one. Y'all, this is cool. In the outdoors, right? There's just something. There oh, is... yeah, with windows open. Right? And There's the breeze flowing through. It. And somewhere near Miami. I know that's where I'm taking the tobacco. Oh, funny. Yeah, this is not a Pacific Nor'easter kind of thing. No, no, no. This is down south, y'all. This is beautiful. There's warmth in this scent. There is. Like, I, I'm con- I'm very comfortable and content and with friends. Com- like... She said comfortable. Whoa. Wow. Okay, so y'all, hold on. <laughs> this is le- tobacco and leather as the doorman. And then when they let you in, there's way more going on in here besides that. And the good news for me is that it turns up and goes clean and beautiful and dapper and bracing without going citrus. Mm-mm. Without going citrus. And I, this is kind of a mystery. I might need to go back to these scent notes. Well, this... I know it because we said oud wood, but I got a spice in oh, there that was like, that's different. Right, of course. It's the oud. It's the oud that's bringing it together and giving it that air of mystery. Mm-hmm. And it's an, a cleaner oud. Like the way the oud and oud spices from Phoenix Outer Scooch mm-hmm. was, like, really was a delightful, cleaner right. side and, of oud. And it's listed as that's oud wood on here, right? here. So there's something right. that's a little in that woodsy. That's why I'm outdoors. I'm somewhere and fun and adventurous. that is not prominent. That's just a little bit no. of what's helping to make it dapper and balance out some of the lighter sweets that are going yeah. on here. Because, yes... There are some lighter sweets going on in here. It's absolutely And the beautiful. spice in there, too. It's a yep. different... I don't know what that is, but wow. it's a different spice. Yep. And no floral. I'm not nope. getting floral from this at all. This 
is definitely. I'm, I'm still thinking this is some kind of Miami barber shop, y'all. And I'm yeah, loving well, this. and I really thought it was gonna be a much deeper, deeper, darker scent. Deeker. Deeker is a word, but it's not. It's it's much more enjoyable and pleasant There's and kind of on that so warmer little side. Deek in this, I, I have to tell you guys. <laughs> Words oh, are hard, and, okay? And you know what? Being a new artist, we kind of want to show you what first? this lather looks like. I, I want to smell it before we even go back to that list oh, because I sticks. just, I think we're going to get something new. All right, let's see here. It's oh, a darker pour, yeah. so there's got to be like a... It's got a little bit of a bite to my stick telling okay. me that it's got some business going on in there. Plus, it's been curing on the piano It has, it has. <laughs> We've been waiting to bust this open. Yeah. And I was looking on their site, and they have a bunch of other ones. So you should tell us, y'all, which one we should go to next. They do. I think they even have a barbershop, right? And they do, and they have a something on the rocks kind of like a margarita something i know and then so i think menthol might be in that one and then there was another one that was kind of more like date night kind of scent so more of like a cologne kind of one maybe so check them out and see which one we should do because i'm curious what y'all want to think of what we think of them all right so amelia and gardner helped me uh, put together this beautiful custom brush and bowl set from ak brushworks so you see we got a little bit of our soap pushed into the ridges there Mm -hmm. we got a little bit of our bougie water and we've got a dry brush we normally don't shave with a dry brush we use the sink when we do it real life here Mm -hmm. we do it now watch this here we go. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there. Look at that new it's fallen snow it. waking up, appearing in the bowl. Yeah, speaking of Canada, and they probably just, saw yeah, the snow everywhere. It's a tallow form that you could see the creaminess in there, and see how it already is giving you a little bit of that cobweb pattern. She's going, you know what? Give me a little bit more of that bougie. Can I need I some me? water if I'm gonna be all foamy. Oh, I'm getting sand. I'm getting some oh, really that cool is so stuff funny over that here. It's taking you to Miami because I, I got Tahoe and you're I in love Miami. This. Well, there's big bodies of water. I think that's true. And and big bodies. <laughs> Y'all just an above average lather for this. Look at this. This is what I love. I love when it has a thick and creamy texture. Mm-hmm. And I know that some of the fluffier soaps do an awesome job and they're awful slick and stuff. But for me, yeah. I like them thick, creamy, and kind of sticky on your face so that you can kind of paint them yeah, on. Yeah, almost like it stacks leather, like layers of it. Right, there, yeah. Know? So I like to kind of do it in coats, if paint, you know paint what I mean. A few coats it's just me. This is my own personal thing. But they did kind of list that in their little intro, right? that they right. were talking about their lather as part of their thing. So. Look at this. Look how it's thick this to go. gorgeous lather is, mm-hmm. y'all. Immediately. Well, I was going to say, do you want to compare? But he went for it. He went for this it. This is the selfish whiff, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Too good to share. That's what it is. You don't get any. <laughs> yeah, this is the yeah. miserly whiff over here. This is great. Okay, yeah. here, you take this in. Oh, I now I, I get more of that wood kind of. I know side. more of the creep. Do they have? Do they have splashes? I think, I think I might have. Yes, thought they did. Carlos, this may. You're right. You are right. This is your pony, man. Okay, but I know it's called tobacco and leather. But whatever it's combining, I'm getting more of like a really cool wood action. I know, I know. And you know what? It's just me, but 3% of this is a glazed donut on a plate in the corner. There is, yeah, there's a little sweetness that's and a spice of some kind. A tiny bit of a yeastiness, a little bit of a glazed donut you can grab from the pink box on the way out of the barber shop. Uh, yeah. I'm just painting a whole picture here for y'all. And, and it is not too overwhelming masculine side, no, you know? I gotta no. say. Carlos is right really when he was saying, like, really? You don't, you don't have Marcus is right, but you have a Carlos. Carlos is right. He's always right. He is at, oh yeah, Carlos is always right. By the way, if you want a fun Sunday evening, Carlos and his sister do sibling sense where mm-hmm. he has her smell a bunch of his soaps. Because she's they, new to this world, so she gets a fresh nose. And it's hilarious. So the check sibling that out rivalry on is quite enjoyable. Yeah, I have to and sometimes say. we go live right right after them. So mm-hmm. or sometimes. Monday nights you can catch Shave Migos every right. Monday. Tuesday so. night is Shave Tech. Mm-hmm. I mean, y'all, it's just you got all kinds of entertainment options. We're gonna need a bigger bowl. <laughs> That's because y'all. It's it's just, yeah, it's happy here. Wow. Like Steve Martin said, be so good, they can't ignore you. Uh, Tovers, wow. <laughs> y'all, this is just exceptional. Even among the world of the best artisan shave soaps, y'all, what a contender. And what most of their contender. scents come in a bar soap. They even have shampoo pucks and conditioner right. pucks. They have so many bath bombs, I could not decide. It was very hard. And get in on the ground floor, folks, so that you can say you knew them when. Because yeah. they are going places. No, they are. And it's a, I think it's a husband and wife that do it. They yeah. seem super cool on the Instagram to talk with you. And, and that was one of the most fun parts of Easter, was giving away our little presents from Topher's yesterday. Right? And letting everybody they see the little them. bath peeps. And things. We even got a video today of Alyssa putting it in the water. Yeah, right? my sister, who I normally like, can you just relax? And she actually 
did. She busted out that peep into her bath, and I was so impressed because we are have a very hard time pausing. Right. So I was my forced way to be like, hey, it's for the Easter holiday, yeah. and it worked. And we had a lovely Easter yesterday. In fact, uh, she works for the Humane Society, and yes. uh, at our Easter celebration was a one-day-old Not even 24 kitten. hours. Right. The mom and the rest of the litter were lost in childbirth. They were mm-hmm. able to save this one little kitten, and so I held him for the entire day because uh, they need to feel warmth, and they need right. to feel and he a was a little fighter. And, he was oh, really he trying. was a lover and a fighter, y'all. We'll have he, to see what, I know. what's become of but, him. Uh, we named him Butch Coolidge from Pulp Fiction because he's, he's a fighter, a fighter he's and a lover. Push through. And, yeah, yeah. You know, so that, that was, so he'll be fine. Good chattings for our little friends. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Absolutely not what I was expecting. In the and best I am way. so delighted by that. So much better than I was ever expecting. Let's take a look at these set notes. <laughs> To our list Back here. A little bit. Okay, what do we got here? We have, which is kind of on the label, but bold notes of tobacco and, and leather. You know what? I will. I will second that because this is about a three point five uh, four intensity. Maybe yeah, it's, it's pretty, lovely. It's pretty if you it's like good. your intensity, it's a little on the stronger but, side. Yeah, it is. But I. But they blend so warmly that you almost forget that it does have that much of a hit. Then we got tonka bean, which probably the color of this is definitely why right. we were getting that. Yeah. And oud wood. Love it. And there has to be some other secret things and in here. And it's the lighter, cleaner side of the oud wood really for me. Is. I know oud can get kind of dark and mysterious and on right. the danker side. No, this yeah, is a but, lighter, spicy But side. I do get that type of barbershop clean from this. Whether that's part of their base or not, but it's really enjoyable. And you know what? Let's do the Carlos whip. Let's smell oh. them both. Okay. Oh, they actually are really good friends. I was going to say, I bet They're these really are good awesome friends. together. This might be the first time I mix my soaps. Stay tuned to how it shaves. There we go. It's a toe for shave. Oh, I might. Oh, to Carlos. <laughs> I, I wouldn't recommend mixing bases because sometimes chemicals might do weird things when right, they mix right, together right. or your lather might disappear. Think of when you dropped your ivory soap into your bubble bath, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But the same artist in the same base. Right. Woo! In the Howard Shave section, this may be coming back. We'll uh, we'll see here. This might be my 3D shave, y'all. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm excited about this, right? Yeah, but they're, they're, oddly, the, wow. the woodsy sides of those, the smoky sides <laughs> in those work well. I know. And there's something that the sweeter sides of each really actually blend well. And maybe may, uh, may, maybe it's sense. because they're a husband and wife team that you have sort of the uber masculine and some of the lighter sides, too, in I this. Agree. Where it is absolutely wearable like by anybody. Like crowd-pleasing kind of a sense, you know? 100%, yeah, Okay, y'all. so again, for the gentleman that loves... Love their tobacco and leather kind yeah. of scents, but if somebody in your household is not as much of a fan, right. this may be a nice sneaky way Absolutely. to get it in there because it's not overwhelming. And y'all, it's just such a beautiful balance, and they are. You're right. This is the crowd-pleasing leather. This is the crowd-pleasing tobacco. So hold on right? a second. And it's just See, something this that is blends more a well. little bit of like a sweeter tobacco that your grandpa's about to put in his pipe, okay. I think. And then the leather... It's that like inside of your leather. No, in. right. Yeah, yeah. For me, or leather the, furniture that's like really broken. Or, or I was going to say like a new car sort of leather vibe. Mm. Like it's more of that. It's more of an intriguing leather or or almost like there's a beautiful hundred year old Western wear store. And sometimes when you walk in, you are just met with the most beautiful scent of like utilitarian leather, but leather that's been tanned and cured and cared for and is softer than a BBS. Mm-hmm. Those kind of smells are what yeah, are Yeah, it's here. very well worn in somehow, I guess. Yeah! Oh. That's a great way to say it. Like, you know that one leather jacket that is just so worn, it looks like a teddy bear, but it's like the most beautiful right. smelling thing ever? That's what I'm getting. That. And I know we don't talk about lather, but my... y'all today we're going to talk about it all day because uh, you, you don't see this very not even here you don't see this very first. often. Look, this is this. a thing. This is a thing. Beautiful lather, and you can't even see the ridges on the bottom of that. Bowl no, anymore. and and with that in mind, we we may have to go deeper that. into the Canadian border. We're going all the way down to Canada, folks. I love that if you're looking for the name of a shave soap, you couldn't get any darker or more masculine, but when you smell it, it has yep. everything you're expecting, and then it has this gorgeous lighter side that keeps it dapper, keeps it whimsical, keeps it more fun. It does. I don't know. It just keeps it more ready to face a sunny day for me than a cloudy one, you know? And I know you said the intensity is is more intense, which I get, but there's something about this kind of a calming scent that's Oh, yeah. In it you can be really strong so and strong. gentle at the same time, yeah, and that's what is. this is. Like when I had to play the gorilla. They were like, you're going to be really big and strong, but you have to be super gentle because mm-hmm. silverbacks are in most cases. That's this. It's super strong, 
but it's super gentle in the way that it sort of hugs your face. It and is, gives and you I just beautiful smell. the scent overall is still warm and cozy to me. Yeah, like there's just comforting like a about fireplace, it. Fireplace, like almost just like yeah. a, a cognac sitting next to a totally. fireplace. Almost, I am not in a rush. We're just riding out the storm. Right. We're hanging out. Although right. you can use this any time of year. That's just where it's taking. And me. you know what I love about scents like this is that you can think about what to pair them with if you don't have the matching splash. Right. Because this with like an orange. Right? Oh yeah. With like a smoky orange peel aftershave kind of thing. That's an evening. And even, I know That's sometimes like tobacco and, and cherry or, you know, that kind of oh. stuff goes well. Woo! Just saying. Just saying. A little saying. lost cherry after yeah. this. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can get could... thrown out of bed, folks. Nope, oh, nope. man, this is phenomenal. Do you picture like any certain person wearing this? Because I feel like it's oh. so like welcoming. A lot of people could pull this off, but I don't really get. You know what's funny? This is the first time I've ever said this because being enormous Disney fans. But this is for me almost a Walt Disney scent because yeah. he's, he was a smoker. And he had a pipe and he smoked cigarettes a lot. In right. fact, a lot of the pictures in Disneyland, you'll see him standing like this. Ah, interesting. Because they have digitally taken out the cigarette that was between I his fingers. That <laughs> right? That's true. So when you see a lot of pictures of Walt, he's doing the one finger point because he's That's doing it. hilarious. But because when you do picture Walt, like picture the statues. Right. Like the partner kind of like statue, a really right? friendly grandpa y kind Su- of. Right. Right. Super dapper, but super approachable and mm-hmm. friendly. And y'all, one of the things Walt was known for is if he was walking through Disneyland at three o'clock on a crowded summer day, Go up to him. Say yeah. hi. He would most likely give you a big old high five and a card with his autograph pre-printed on That's it. That's great. So we didn't even have to waste time with the yeah, autograph books and pens. He would just, here you go. Here's my autograph. I signed it this morning. Welcome to Disneyland, right? That wow. kind of a guy. That's I agree. what this smells like. And that little wisp of tobacco. Main Street even had a tobacco they store. They did. You're when right. Disneyland first opened. Yeah. On a hot day, they say you can still smell wax. Maybe. Maybe. But there is, yeah. You can't. They they say that. But there is that type of energy and vibe from this. Like, I really feel welcomed. I feel like I'm having a good time. And I'm enjoying wherever I'm at with this scent. Much like being with Carlos. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is start a little YouTube show with your beloved about these soaps that you love so much. Mm -hmm. One of the first people who's kind of introduced themselves to you has their own show on Instagram. And it's amazing. He's a part of the Shade Migos. He's a part of the Canadian Mafia. And he is also one of the very nicest guys in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And when he says, shave on Jay. Gents, my name is Carlos. You just got your own! So head over to tophers.ca where you'll find this and a ton of other cool stuff. Y'all, it struck me as I was shaving with this, and now that I've been able to spend a couple more weeks with it since the review, how much more there really is to this than just the perceived scent notes. If you called this a barbershop, I would shake your hand. There is just something beautiful and clean and takes you to a lovely place to spend some time and makes sense because it just gives me that warm feeling I get whenever we get to talk to Carlos on the phone for a while. Y'all, you know his laugh. You know what I'm talking about. Buddy, thank you for sending us this and for putting Tophers on our radar. We've already placed a couple of orders since and for a couple of our friends as well and they have loved their stuff. And after the shave, what a fantastic lather. What a fantastic feel. And even though I only have two of these soaps, it sort of guided my brush to know what to do to know how to mix it with the water and the air and how fast it wanted to go to make the kind of lather I wanted and as a painter stayed right where I put it on my face sticky and slick and I love that y'all thank you Welcome to Messages. So we have decided we want to have a special giveaway for a $20 gift card to Sterling for you! Yo! All you have to do is send an email here so we can get back to you at we sent you at the barbershop duet.com and be a subscriber on YouTube. Maybe check out Rod and Mandy's Sterling yeah. pages on the various get on social our media. Email list. And check back on June 1st to see if you are our lucky winner. Best of luck. I was I was kind of hoping <laughs> that this would be equally as good because the first one I figured must be their best, right? It's right? got to be Carlos such knew. a home run. Yeah. But when I smelled this one, I was like, wait, okay, hold on. 
Uh, we got to go get some more because these are so good. And this is a four ounce pour. It is. Y'all. So keeping in mind that the shaving soaps are packaged by weight. Mm -hmm. This is four ounces of soap and it's a tallow soap. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it's beautiful. It's going to last you a while. And we generally don't talk about price too much, y'all. But these sit at about fifteen ninety nine, mm -hmm. And it's a great price for this lather. And they have so set. many things that match the scent. So if you find one that you like, whether you go for the bar soap or if you want to get some of the other goodies, you are covered at Topher's. Yo. And hey, thank you, Carlos. We know it's not easy being one of our friends, but we super appreciate it. And we super appreciate you believing in our little show and believing in this awesome little artisan and putting those worlds together for us. Thank you, buddy. It's super fun looking in the den and seeing these soaps and knowing that they came from you. And it's like yeah. a little hug and a tub from Carlos. Totally. Just this up. one's from Carlos and that one's from Philip. And we really so do lucky. remember and honor these we really that you give to our show. It means a lot to us. It thank does. You. Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You'll smell better just watching this.